Yep. Hello there, everyone. This is Lou Cataruza. We're here at Lou's Corner at Bayside Live Television. We're in a wonderful place called Brian Dempsey, and we have an opportunity of talking with the folks here that have been Bayside'ers for a long time, and uh, we get to share a little bit about all the the history and the likes, dislikes. No, we don't talk about the dislikes. No dislikes. No dislikes. We're here with with Joe Rosinski. I said that perfectly, or almost. yes, you did. I did Very good. Like, it's almost as hard as Luke Cataruza. Yeah. But um, <laughs> having said that, uh, you know, the thing about leaving Bayside and coming back, I was one of those guys. I left for 12, well, let me see, yeah, for 12 years, moved out to Long Island to a place called Cold Spring Harbor, an old little whaling village out there. Did my duty there and then came back here. And it's something about the neighborhood here that people just get to. They're just friendly. They are. They're, they're fun to be with. You can't ask for better people yeah. than people on Bayside. I, I, I was here for 20 years. 20 years. Yeah, I lived on uh, 219th between 38th and 39th. Okay, okay. I bought my house from a lady, fabulous lady called Hazel Gilmore. Uh huh. Her father built all the houses in that area. Yeah, yeah. My house is was approximately. 118 years. I think it was built in 1895. One of the oldest 1895. houses. 1895. Were there creeks in the, uh, in, the, the, in the floors? A little creaky here once in a while? Actually, her father was a builder. Oh, and it was fabulous. Master Carpenter. She died at the age of 106 months and two weeks. She used to walk from wow. the house that I bought wow. to the bay through fields really there was no highway yeah, yeah. Was nothing. Nothing, she used to nothing. swim across and back really fabulous lady yeah it's uh the, the the town has really a morph but old bayside village where we're in here where uh, dempsey is it's kind of uh trying to have a rebirth in the, of its old histories i i, I um, believe it a lot, I mean, of, a lot of the people like us like old like myself i should say old people I'm only uh, 76. There you go, young man. <laughs> uh, get to bring the character out in it. He still has that great character. It's a, a pub, a place to hang out, to meet people, to talk. It's uh, So what do you do now down in, uh, in retirement? What, what kind of retirement are you doing? Uh, golfing. A lot of golf. A lot of golf. Yeah. Uh, a lot of walking. That's, North, that's South, Car South Carolina. Carolina. What area in South Carolina? Uh, it's actually called Indian Land, South Carolina. It's in the... Uh, Rock Hill, Fort Mill area. Okay. It's five miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte's a beautiful town. Yes. Beautiful town. You it's, get to go there. Is it? Yeah, we were there Sunday. Sunday. It yeah. was, uh, I mean, they actually have horse and carriage like they do in, some, in, in Central Park. That's I mean, it's wonderful. Fabulous. I mean, How long does it, it take you to get there from the home? Actually, we drive over to this little place and we take the blue line, which is like a train. Yeah. And we go into Charlotte. How long is it, it, it taking? Just be curious. Uh, less than a half hour. See, it's like going to the city. Yeah, it Same is. Same thing. I mean, like, I used to be able to walk from my house for about eight to ten minutes. Really? Get yeah. on the Long Island Railroad. I worked at the police academy in uh, Manhattan, so I took the uh, railroad most of the time. So you were, the, you were in the force? I worked for the NYPD. Oh, yes, sir. I'm retired from the NYPD. Look, good for you. Good for you. What a wonderful. I, I mean, I have a. a, a uh, uh, son-in-law who's a uh, policeman and uh, I'm just I'm just so thankful of th what they do they're just not thanked enough well they're not thanked for that and that's a conversation I, I've had I I'm about to do a, a workshop for having them get that they matter they do. In, 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 in they have to get that they really do matter because uh, they absolutely do and uh, sometimes the, the circumstances outside of their experience doesn't show up that way. And it's sometimes a tough slug to have to overcome that sense. But boy, uh, I'm so thankful that they do what they do. I, I'll tell you something. On my car, I have the, the blue sticker. Yeah. In, in my house window, I have yeah. the blue sticker. Yeah. I mean, I got more respect for the NYPD or any police officer. Yeah. My brother was a New York State trooper. Yeah. And, well, um, you know, you, you're a servant of the people. You're, you're helping people. You're, and they don't that's realize what they it. do that. That's what they do. They don't realize it, though. Well, well, that's it. I mean, you know, the, 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 we have, a, we have a, a lot of issues going on in this country where people 
uh, in general, in general, lots of them, including teachers that I have a conversation with, that they don't feel like they matter. They get stuck in believing the outside garbage that goes on in other people's lives that cause them to have the kind of conversations that end up being disrespectful. And, and, and so people get minimized. A lot of the social services are out there that uh, just simply people just don't get that they matter enough. And boy, uh, I, I was telling a story uh, with someone. I came from Europe when I came here. I was eight years old when I came to, to, from Italy. And over there, the teachers were thought of in grammar school as professors. Wow. So the, 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 they were the most important person in the, in the town because they knew that this is the one that's going to rear your children. I mean, you have to take that into consideration. And so, but when we came here, it was a shift. It was a different way of looking at them. And all of a sudden, that is, that's the, I think the problem is this idea of, of having to get caught up and really uh, I'm thinking that your perspective on things doesn't matter. The way you view things don't matter. If you don't get that people are taking, are serving your needs, policemen, teachers, firemen. Anybody in civil service. Everyone I mean, in civil like, service. My daughter's, my youngest daughter's a teacher. Uh, my stepdaughter's a teacher. Yeah. And I'll tell you something, they just don't respect anything to do with teachers, law enforcement. People, in general. Right. On the outside. Right. Yeah. Correct. It, yeah. Well, you know, a, a, and, and I understand that. I, th I think I, that, that's one of the issues I said is a culture. What needs to be done is a culture shift about that to understand that people who go out to get into government to make a difference in people's lives need to be acknowledged, need to be understood what they, what a gift they are. And looking at it that way, maybe things would turn out better than they are today. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Very good. So, uh, it's always a pleasure. We could almost have a drink and relax and enjoy. And this is good stuff. <laughs> I love coming back here and yeah. meeting my friends. Yeah, good. I'm from a small town upstate New York, of yeah. Swigo, the other side of Syracuse on Lake Ontario. Oh, jeez. And I mean, like, magnificent. I, I, as I said, I lived here for 20 years. I lived yeah. there for 40. And yeah. I've been in South Carolina for eight. Well, Joe, welcome home. Oh, I love it. I really welcome do. Welcome home. I have many friends here, many. So, Greg, what do you say? Are we done with the segment? Are we should keep on talking? We could we could go on forever. You realize that, right? <laughs> here at Lou's Corner, we need a couple more uh, uh, folks coming in here. We can all have a nice conversation together. I guess we're up. We're up.
I'm usually behind the camera, not in front of it. Yeah, hi, this is Luke Cataruza. We're back here at Dempsey's, and we have another segment, and we're going to be interviewing someone who is just another great artist, and his name is Sandy Slappin. His uh, company is Eye on Your Photos. Eye on Your Photography. On, I, right. Eye I'm on sorry. Your Photography. Eye on You. stopped on their photos. photos. Yeah, that's good. Photos, Sandy. Make it shorter. It's no better. problem. Not so, a, it's uh, we're here. one of the things that I, I, I love... I'm, I really love to talk to artists. My, 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 I have a bent for the artist spirit. You know, the artist spirit. My, my perspective yeah. is it comes from uh, it comes from the heart. Yeah. If anybody, I, I tell them, if you really want to know uh, the artist spirit, uh, think Leonardo da Vinci. A mathematician, an artist, uh, a, 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 a scientist, and, and an incredible artist. Endless. It's that spirit that's in you that I see in the work that you have here. I can't wait to talk about it. Sandy. Uh, about Bayside, how long have you been around this area? Uh, let's see, I'm 58 years old. Um, I moved out probably when I was 18, and I came back around six, seven years ago. So, That's on great. and off, uh, 30, 30 years. 30 years. So, I do know, went to France Lewis High School. So, I'm a local boy. Local uh, boy. A lot of friends over here, Bayside. Yeah. Uh, a lot of guys from Bay Terrace. I don't want to start naming names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got a lot friends, of friends, a lot of friends lot here. Of good, uh, one of mine does a, a big thing out here. His name's Keith Hart. He does uh, a Long Island Hospital uh, Hostility Ball. It's coming up. Um, I give him a little plug. Uh, it's for cancer. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, so now the, the 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 idea here. There's so many people in Bayside that are so artistic. They're so interesting and here we are you just showed me a book i want i want the audience to take a look at some of the cool pictures that you have taken you're you're also a photographer for the post right i've worked for the new york post uh i have worked uh with mickey mantle's restaurant in new york city uh whitey ford uh daryl strawberry uh my proudest moments is uh yogi bear museum yeah. uh i uh i got to meet yogi a few occasions actually got to meet mickey it was a thrill of my life and my just, favorite baseball player man that's the, the guy restaurant. i had four pictures on display at mickey Rantel's restaurant at wow. one time wow and whitey Ford's. i had like six pictures and in yogi bear's museum i have a picture on yankee stadium they have very nice show us some pictures you know, go ahead give uh, us some pictures this is a uh, photo i did on delancey street of uh who's that a marengo dancer uh just on the street there and i picked up uh just happened to be at the right place all right the there's time. a morango uh, yeah you know, uh, with on stilts of course on right stilts because if he was that tall it'd be, uh, that would really be something the fire department uh, i work with the fire fire department. department okay how about uh, some of the stars you shot over here let's uh, take a look at some of those you got uh, a lot of Ooh, oh my god who's this over here does These she look Ford, like Ford models? That looks like Sophia Loren. Yeah, beautiful. But it's, it looks like you can't see these. I want to show you these. So we got to put pick this up like this. And hold on, They're like this. Put it around. Look, we're going to cause a major problem. Can you see this? Look at that. Could you see? That's pretty good. Now, Dad, I see it. flip the pages a little bit. Uh, Dad. Okay. Uh, Here we go. Who's that? Just, oh, these are all models. The girls, all models. Some on the beach. Look at that. Fruits. Some beautiful pictures. Uh, how about the these broadcasters? Uh, it's Virgin. I did a big party for Richard Branson. Richard Branson. Virgin, uh, Virgin Kohler. A, a smart, a smart guy who became a yeah, multi-billionaire and is now the moon. helping people go into the moon. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Ladder company. What's that? The Ladder three. company number three. The, the city. In the city is another one. The merchant. Another the girls. Uh, is that a virgin there? Yeah. She looks. I don't know if she's one. a virgin, but or, uh, well, well, maybe she was. Uh, but one day, uh, uh, there's there. Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay I Lohan. Did, she signed I, this over here for I, you. I had a store on uh, Merrick Road. It was Home Run Sports Plus. You, you saved this yeah. when you're 100 years I, old. I, uh, it'll be worth a couple of bucks, you know. I do a lot of uh, uh, sports. Um, That's it. And here yeah. he is, and who's this? That's, this is you, that's, isn't that's it? That's me and Yogi Berra's museum. Look at you, not wearing a hat of glasses. That, I can't uh, tell. That's me about 30 years ago. Look at still you. had hair. Well, you still had uh, hair. You see that? Uh, so what happens? It, 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 it uh, goes time away. Time goes by. Uh, wearing my favorite Mickey Mantle Mickey jersey. Mantle. Very nice. Uh, and that's a picture I donated of Yankee Stadium, four feet by five feet on canvas. On canvas. That's yeah. a beautiful shot. Yeah. I, uh, look, look at this. I, I thought this was 
Gordy Weaver. Yeah, kind of, it looks like little, it, doesn't it? It looks, of, yeah, uh, we're showing you a picture upside down, so you just make believe it's Sigourney Weaver. And here's Joe Willie. Joe Willie. I took that picture at uh, Big Joe on uh, Shea Stadium. I had field passes back in the seventies. I that's that I was, was about that, ten this, feet from Joe. This, this, He's this actually wearing. Uh, this is a legend. He's wearing Joe uh, John Riggins jersey there. He had right. His, his warm up was jersey uh, dirty, so he was he had John's on. So okay. I asked him, uh, "Where's yours?" So he told me he was dirty. So, it was dirty, so you yeah. took a picture of uh, yeah. yeah. So this I, other I, one. yeah. I had to make sure that was Joe, but I looked at the face. There you go. You're lucky. You uh, found that's out. kind of, of uh, that's a uh, a Lamborghini I caught in the street, and I just and happened it, to. Uh, and who's this guy? Uh, that's that happens to be me in action. You got a Lamborghini. It, Photography must be good. You know, yeah. that's a good thing. This guy, Anyone out there think about million, that? Will that's you? a million dollar Lamborghini. It's, million uh, dollar. It's beautiful. Is that the car show? It, or is it's that? just in the Mineola. I just happened to be out there. Yeah, you're lucky guy you taking know, pictures his, of his cars. with uh, Yogi Berra. Yogi, uh, the famous Yogi. Yeah, anybody remember yeah, one of his Yogiisms? I, uh, I think that fork in the road. It's a, uh, it's a good one. Uh, that's a good one. Yeah. How does it go? Um, uh, Yogi says, uh, if you take the fork in the road, uh, you can't go wrong. <laughs> I love it. Well, you eat it too. So, yeah, that's right. You know, you can use it to eat. There's a, oh, you a can, Walt can't Frazier. Go wrong. I, 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 Look I, at that man. This is Walt Frazier. I, met, I took that picture. Huh? Um, did you see it? Yeah, there uh, it is. I took that picture in 1972, 73. 72. So this picture Another right here classic. is one of my uh, favorites. Oh, beautiful. The Williamsburg Bridge. I did a story uh, in the New York Post where they actually put five photos of mine in the Sunday yeah. paper. That's fun. You no, know? that's uh, fun. This is. Uh, you didn't catch anybody jumping off of it, no, though, right? No jumping. No like, jumping off I of actually that took one. that picture off the DOT so nice. building. They let me go on top of the building, which was pretty rare. And I actually did a whole story on that bridge where they, uh, they let me put a hard hat and a vest on. The only civilian in U.S. over here, at least New York, to ever put a hard That's hat and a, a vest. That's a privilege. That's a privilege. I was on the bridge with the 200 workers. Wow. And I'm wow. afraid of heights. So. Here's another virgin. You know? This is a virgin safe. What is that? I That's never heard of it. You rented out a bank. You rented out a bank to do a, a party. A, do a, a, I, they had a tank in the street. A British wow, tank. I wow. have photos of yeah. this. Is the uh, I did a I did a thing in a bank. Biggest once. library in the world on Eighth yeah. Avenue. Beautiful, Manhattan. beautiful, beautiful. This is uh, you know, isn't this turning into condo though? Is that? Is imagine that? How could you do a thing like that? Do that. That's turning this right. into condo. That's the uh, Rainbow World. I call it. Is it? What is this? Flushing Meadow Park. Park. Metal Park. I, That's everybody. I went there as that, a kid. Uh, I went there. I was like uh, sixteen when I went there. Is Daryl? Uh, I, when he had cancer, Darryl's, Darryl's behind. I put him picture. into Yank. I do double exposures. I'm famous like for. He's, he's like a man. That's before they had computers. Even. Beautiful, nice job. I put him into there. We had cancer, and he did cried. Did you blow this up into a size? I blew it up and I gave it to Daryl. Did you give it to him? And he was in. Uh, he had colon cancer. Yeah. He actually cried. He told me on the phone. Oh, I met nice. him later on, and he he took pictures with my kids. Very nice. Very nice guy. Some more models. Yeah, poor Daryl. He had a tough life. Uh, in a certain time of his life, he and, went through uh, a couple of problems. Yeah, shot of the bridge. This Beautiful. Is, this is I'm before and you, after. You can't see it, but I'm that's, looking at uh, nice things here. These are nice after. things. You know what I'm saying, Greg? You know, that's Beautiful. before and after. So, oh, 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 oh. You see, this, look. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, before yeah, yeah. And, and after. after. Nine months. I, 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 I we're gonna try to zoom in there before and after. Before and after. You know what it is? The yeah. lights, the lights on the thing is kind of giving you a bad shot. But I'll tell you this: the, it is beautiful. That story for almost a year. So now, what do you? So now, what kind of? Uh, uh, if someone wants to come and use your talent, what 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 would you what would you want to do for them? Oh, uh, I could do uh, to, to the, make them look the best they could possibly look. Take like? them out to a beautiful surrounding because. The thing with photography is not just your subject, it's your yeah, background. Yeah. It's your surroundings yeah, where yeah. a lot of people don't realize that uh, like the curtains behind us gives us a nice effect. Right, right, right. It's, it's the surroundings that make your element to, yeah. into the photography. Yeah, for me, you got to put a so, curtain on my face in order see, to make nah, me look you're good so looking guy. It's, uh, you know, you got to be careful how to... Is one of my I love this one is a uh, a Broadway. Oh, nice. I used to work on Broadway, 406 Broadway. I used to own Fabric Warehouse. I was down there for 25 years, so I saw just about everything this, in the city. 
this and looks this like goes all the way down to Trinity Place. This looks like a day in the city. You know, you know, you know if you go in there, you know you've had these moments and where you look uh, around and there's like nothing but cars and buildings. Here's a flushing picture of uh, that's a good shot. The 26, the Q26. The Q26. That's, that's a bus, isn't it? Yeah. That's What's the it bus. doing? What'd you take a picture of the bus? Because uh, it's it? a uh, at night, and I do that on a photo illustrator is illustrator mode. I see. On my Nikon D5500, I use. Now tell me, I'm going to ask you again. If somebody wants to call you and they want to use you to make them look the best they can, is that something you can do? I can definitely bring out the best of people. Yeah, you pose uh, them, you, you, you go you to bring places. out the best in somebody by uh, becoming familiar with your subject and right. making them uh, familiar with you yeah. so they feel comfortable with you. Yeah. And, it just becomes a happy there you moment. Go. And, uh, so if you guys, you if you smile. want, because if you want, somebody smiles, it's important. If you want a happy you can moment, see how all the girls smile for me. And this is a, a picture of the Miami Dolphins, even though it's not our favorite team, but that's a Bob Greasy handing off to Mercury Morris. And you were and on the sideline. I was right this on the is, field. This is one of the benefits of having a press uh, pass, right? Uh, yes. You I, get a press pass, you go and take shots like this. Yes, I was 17 years old. Un at the time. Unbelievable, you lucky dog you. You know, I've been doing this. So, uh, so if you want it's Sandy. My passion is my life. If you want Sandy to, to, uh, to help uh, you out and look in the best way possible, he'll take some great shots for you. Who I knows? Maybe that. make even make you a star. Who knows? Uh, I've done it. You've I've, done I've, it. I've started a few people. All right, Sandy Sleppin, thank you for right, thank you. coming on Lose Corner. Lose Corner. Yeah, I it. my pleasure. Nice. Thank you. Great guy.